Okay, so imagine this. You've got 250 pounds to spend on a pair of running shoes. You can either get the tried and tested Primex 2 Strong or the newly released Cielo X1 from Hoka. Before I start with this though, uh, <laughs> I got this comment. Actually, let me put the comment on the screen on this one here. And let me read it along with you. This guy is an absolute goofball. The way he rates things is so dumb. Cool vid to kill some time would never take this serious. <laughs> I'm sure you meant seriously. But anyway, I thought I would change my approach for this video because this comment has obviously affected me so much. <sighs> Let's do it. Hello there. My name is Aubrey Ball. Goofball, and the purpose of this presentation is to present to you an analytical and comparative reflection of Adidas's footwear specifically designed for the running activity. Prime X second iteration strong. I shall be contrasting this particular sport apparatus against Hoka's Cielo X the first iteration. This. <laughs> You just have to laugh and move on. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna put these shoes head to head. As always, I'm gonna put the scores up as we go. We always start with the three things you need to know. Now, these are objective before I even start talking opinions. All right, so let's start with the weight. I wear a nine and a half UK. Both of these shoes are true to size. Now, before I start, I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite running shoes ever. And this is slowly contending for that spot. Nine and a half UK, mm, 320 grams, 320 grams versus 275. Hoka Cielo X1, one nil. Right, let's talk about the price, both 250 pounds and that's a tie. When we talk about stack height, now this is going to be a very big talking point when we get to the midsole, but this is actually race illegal, meaning you can't actually participate in a race and podium or win. It's against racing regulation because it's 50 millimeters at the back, 43 and a half millimeters at the front. Just the front alone is race illegal. However, this is 39 millimeters at the back, 32 at the front, being a seven mil drop. Now, that's going to be a talking point when we talk about the midsole. I don't actually give points about stack height because it means nothing. Okay, as we go into the subjective opinion section, the Cielo X1 is winning 1-0. Before we break the shoes down, let's talk about what these shoes are for. Now, these are high stack race day super shoes. If you would like, you want to train with these, do some speed work, or even the easy long run, the high stack, the comfort is going to be there. And it makes these shoes very versatile. For me personally, at 250 pounds, I would rather you preserve these for race day shoes and they are much more affordable and suitable shoes for your everyday runs but these are your race day super shoes with that said let's break these shoes down let's start with the heel and the point here will go to the primex too strong for this this fin thing is actually a tab a heel tab to help you put the shoe on both these shoes have got very minimalistic heels, and you can see that, and that is quite typical in a race day shoe. Both offer you some type of structure, and they do have some padding in the inside. They're not that different. Even when I put them that way, you can see that they are not that different. Spookily very, very uh, similar, but Primex 2, and the score now is 1-1. One, one. Let's talk about the tongue, no brainer. Primex too strong. And the reason I pointed this out in the review of the Cielo X1, the tongue is super stretchy. And because it's stretchy, as you're putting it on, it has a tendency to bunch up and you therefore have to pay close attention to flatten that tongue out so that it doesn't bulk up and bulge and do the laces and therefore giving you added pressure on the top of your foot and making it quite painful as you run. You don't get that in this tongue. It's a booty construction. I like it. Now, 
You know, I talk about gusseted tongue and it doesn't get more gusseted than the tongue just being fully attached. It is a knit tongue. It is stretchy. It is the perfect length and I can't fault it. That point goes to the Primex Strong. Now, laces, the lacing system. I won't even shy away from telling you this. The lacing system has been butchered, murdered, insulted in this Yellow X1. I am that one reviewer that is saying, actually, I like it. There might be others, I just haven't seen it. I will say, give these laces a go before you join the bandwagon and trash them. If you look at these laces, just the laces, not the lacing system, I'll get to that in a little bit, but the laces in here, they're really flat. They lack personality, they're just standard. There is nothing that says this shoe costs 250 pounds. I actually like the lacing system and the laces in the Cielo X1 much better. So for me, for the fact that they are flat profiles, they decrease pressure on the top of your foot. The fact that when you look at the lacing and the eyelets, put those next to each other. I like standard holes and uppers, reinforced holes. Therefore, lacing system, Cielo X1 takes that. Thank you very much. I hate to do this to you, but when it comes to the uppers, I'm not awarding a point. Simply because the looks, if you look at this in terms of an upper, that is unique. And I'm not talking about the colorways, just the design of that upper, but it doesn't get more unique, innovative than this X Strong. Look at that. I know we've seen this for quite some time. This shoe has been out for a while, but the upper on the Primex 2 Strong and this one, I can't pick. I really can't. Even the breathability, the performance of these uppers, I really cannot pick. I will therefore, for the first time in these comparative videos, not award a point for the uppers because I wouldn't be doing myself justice. I love both of them the same. The midsole. I hate to do this to you, but I'm not, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm gonna tell you which one. When you put these two shoes on, the comfort is the same. I would be nitpicking. I have to really think which one. And because of that, it makes it much more subjective. And therefore, in terms of the cushioning and the comfort, I'm not picking one. In terms of propulsion, again, I'm not picking one because I feel like they are exactly the same with my build, with my running form, um, and just how these shoes feel underfoot. I genuinely cannot tell them apart. Here's where the difference is though, and this is why I'm gonna award one point for the midsole to this yellow X1, that they have achieved confusing me with 39 millimeters as opposed to 50. I also wanna say, because of that 39 versus 50, this feels that much more stable. Now, I don't know if it's a function of the winged carbon plate within the Cielo X1. Cushioning, the same. Propulsion feels the same. But the stability is different. That feels much more stable to me than this one. With that said, it's important that I point out the makeup of these midsoles. Light Strike Pro is Adidas's premium performance midsole. But this shoe has got two carbon plates in it. You've got a carbon plate running at the top, one running at the bottom, sandwiched is this light strike puck in between here. And you can almost see that gap through there. That is quite innovative. In this one, it's two layers of Piba foam and a carbon plate running in between it, but the carbon plate is winged therefore bringing that uh, stability that I just referred to. Outsole time, come with me to this camera, let me show you. This is the outsole of the Cielo X1. I can't fault it, apart from this exposed rubber here. Now in terms of its performance, it's very tacky, it's very high grip. I can't fault it. I've run in rain, I've run in very good condition at all times, running in roads, pavement, nothing challenging as such, and it has performed very well. However, it cannot outperform the continental rubber. I'm about to do 
a 100K review of this shoe. And it still looks like this. That is perfection. That is coverage. I can't fault it. I don't want to waste your time. When it comes to outsoles, Adidas just simply does what they do. Continental rubber. Another point we need to start comparing is the look. The look of these two shoes. Which of these two shoes do you prefer the look of? Please put it in the comments below. Now look, I'm not talking colorways because Adidas has come out with all sorts of colorways for the Primex too strong. I'm talking about the look itself. And for me, I apologize. Hey, but for me, I gotta tell you, this is it. I love the look of this. Ignore the colorway, just the design of the shoe itself. This one speaks a lot of volumes. The tough part, which of these two shoes should you get? I don't want to say it depends. I'll tell you which one I believe will serve you better. Bang, that's the yellow X1. And why am I saying that? Well, it feels a bit more stable. It is race legal. And it is much, much lighter. As I promised, I said I would come back at the end and address that comment. Listen. I'm okay with feedback. Honestly, I even invite people to do so. But remember one thing, you can do what you say to my channel. For other creators, it takes a lot of effort, time and confidence. Please be kind. If you've got something constructive to say, be kind. If you feel there is something I may need to do differently to better the content, please share that feedback but I assure you, you lose nothing in being kind. It's just fortunate for me, this is just an opportunity to, to create content out of it and make this YouTube video that much more enjoyable to watch. But as I always say, please be kind. Anyway, head to the clouds, feet to the ground. I'll see you on the next one.